In clinical trials, they usually give a group of people an intervention or a drug and compare them to another group that received the placebo and then we assess the outcomes. As we know, in the treatment group, some may have the benefit or the outcome, but not all the patients that received the treatment drug will. So instead of saying, example, 90 out of 100 had the benefit from the drug, we can use the number needed to treat to also describe how effective the drug was at providing that benefit. By definition, the number needed to treat is the number of patients you need to treat to prevent one additional bad outcome such as death, stroke, etc. And we can rephrase this definition as well. So the number needed to treat is the number of patients you need to treat in order for one additional patient to have the benefit of the drug. For example, preventing a stroke. Now, how many people do we have to give the drug to in order to have the desired outcome? So before we go over the example and the formula, ask yourself, if you was a researcher testing the benefit of a drug, would you want the number needed to treat to be high or low? The formula to calculate the number needed to treat is one over the absolute risk reduction. By definition, the absolute risk reduction refers to the actual difference in risk between the treated and the control group. To help this definition become more clearer, let's take a look at the following example. Let's say we are conducting a study evaluating the efficacy of our new drug Marex versus placebo in prostate cancer patients. We had a total of 150 patients with prostate cancer. We gave 75 patients with prostate cancer the drug plus preventative strategies and 75 patients the placebo plus preventative strategies. We evaluated the number of patients who died after three years. In the intervention group, 11 died, and in the placebo group, it's 33. With these numbers, we can now begin to calculate the absolute risk reduction. Let's go back and look at the formula. The intervention group risk is also known as experimental event rate, which is defined as the proportion of patients in the experimental treatment group who are observed to experience the outcome of interest. We will do this same calculation for the placebo, also known as control event rates. For the experimental event rate, the value is 11 over 75, which equals 0.14 or 14%. And for the control event rate, it's 33 over 75, which equals 0.44. The absolute risk reduction refers to the actual difference in risk between the treated and the control group. So in this case, 14 minus 44 is 30%. Yes, it's negative, but when it comes to absolute value, the sign doesn't matter. It's just 0.3 or 30%. We can interpret this absolute risk reduction as... Marex reduces the risk of death and prostate cancer by 30% compared to placebo. Now that we have the absolute risk reduction, we can calculate the number needed to treat. So back to the formula. So in this case, it will be 1 divided by the absolute risk reduction, which is 0.3. So for the number needed to treat, use the absolute risk reduction without the percent, and we get 3.3. .3. Always round up to the nearest whole number, so 4. And we said that number needed to treat is the number of patients you need to treat to prevent one additional bad outcome. So this means that we have to give 4 patients with prostate cancer Marex to reduce the risk of death in 1 at 3 years. In other words, for every 4 patients that receive Marex, 1 will not die by 3 years. So again, if you was a researcher testing the benefit of a drug, would you want the number needed to treat to be high or low? Low. Imagine if we only had to give the drug to just one patient in order for one to have that benefit. That would be amazing. Of course, in real-life clinical research, some drugs may not have a low number needed to treat, but if that benefit is important enough, so let's say reduction in death, cancer cure, etc., it may still be favored, especially with low side effects. And that will be the end of this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video and take care.